Welcome to Electra Online. Now here we have an extremely unique property that makes life possible. It's again almost miraculous. There's something about water. When water freezes it expands. Now most of us know that especially if you live in a cold climate and you've had water lines that froze up in the winter time they would burst because when ice expands it's with so much force that actually will burst the pipes. If you don't have antifreeze in your car, in, in the water that cools the engine in your car, and you leave it out in the winter time and it gets very cold, begins to freeze, then again, the expansion of that water as it freezes will simply bust the engine block. It can actually break that very solid engine block in your car. Water is the only substance in the universe that does that. All of the substances, when they freeze, they become more dense than the liquid that they came from. And so therefore, if it's more dense, it would sink to the bottom of the liquid that they're in. Water doesn't do that. When water freezes and forms ice, ice will rise to the top or stay at the top because that's where less dense material will end up. It'll end up at the top of the water, floating on top of the water. So let's take a look here what would happen. Let's say that we have a lake. It's summer, it's 20 degrees Celsius outside. Then you can see that the water at the very top will be 20 degrees Celsius and the water at the bottom of the lake would be cooler because cooler water tends to be more dense and it would sink to the bottom of the lake. Co uh, warmer water would then rise to the top and you see that therefore the warmer water would be at the top and the colder water would be down. If you ever go swimming in the lake in the summertime and you dive any depth in the lake, you'll, follow, you'll feel the difference between the warm water near the top and the cold water as you go down into the lake. As fall comes, notice that it gets colder outside, the water begins to cool down, warmer water in the middle of the lake will rise to the top, colder, wall, co colder water will sink to the bottom, and slowly the, water will, the cold water will end up at the top, and then when winter arrives and becomes very cold outside, the water would begin to freeze. Now here's the big difference. In the earth now, when water freezes, it simply stays at the top and floats. But what if it didn't do that? What if water was just like all the other substances in the universe? It would simply become more dense and sink to the bottom. And as ice sinks to the bottom, new ice would form. It would sink to the bottom, new ice would form. And slowly but surely, the whole lake would fill simply with ice as the heavier, more dense ice would sink to the bottom and replace the water, pushing that to the top. It would freeze and just continue this process until the whole lake was filled with water. And by the way, that would happen with oceans as well, wherever it is below freezing above the oceans. Now, of course, it has to be a little bit colder than below freezing because oceans are salty, so they, they require a colder temperature to freeze. But eventually, they would freeze as well, ice would sink to the bottom, and that whole process would just continue until the whole ocean would fill with ice and only water would exist at the very top until that freezes as well. You'd have a solid block of ice. Spring would come, it would get warmer, the ice at the very top would melt, turn back into water, but below that you'd have this huge block of ice that would never melt because the heat simply can't get there. Warmer water is less dense than ice and it would then stay on top. Again, that would be the case if water and ice didn't have that very special property. So that means that the whole lake would fill with ice, the whole oceans would fill with ice, and no life would be able to exist in those big blocks of ice. The reason why this doesn't happen, because of the very unique property that ice floats on top of water because it's less dense. And again, that's water is so unique in that property. The reason why water does that is because as water freezes, it turns to ice, the water molecules are shaped in such a way that they form a crystalline structure that requires more room when they begin to align electrically to one another in the way they react to one another and therefore it, they kind of expand to make room for their crystalline structure. When they turn back into water they're able to roll over each other and they don't require that extra distance, that extra room in order to exist. And so water is the only substance that does that and we owe our existence to that one property of water.